Welcome to another video. Just wanted to say thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, and I'll see you all in the intro. Welcome, folks, to another video. We're doing it on The Rock, a little old school list. This is Maury's, one of my patron. I appreciate you for being a Patreon. Uh, and if you want to become a patron, links down below. Great way to get me to play your deck. So, uh, yeah, that's the easiest way. And you get a rock sideboard. So, you know, two shout outs. Also, this is just the me and you, you know, just like haven't done this in a while, just a YouTube video, but uh, definitely interested in this list because I love old school lists because they are always just super fun to play. Even though like they're traditionally not very good, um, especially nowadays, they are always, you know, fun to see what used to happen. And sometimes, you know, we do end up doing okay with them. So this is just, a, you know, regular rock list. We got some old cards. We got Treetop Village, which is definitely a blast from the past. Uh, all the other lands, fairly reasonable. Field of Rune, a little bit of a weird one, but that's okay. Uh, we're on six discard spells and only four fatal push. Well, we can only be on four fatal push, but only 10 one mana spells. And <laughs> we have a main deck Kalidus, main deck Liliana, the last hope, uh, four, you know, regular lilies, a maelstrom pulse, scavenging oozes, a brook decay. Like, dude, this is just so like nostalgic and I just love these cards. So I'm very excited to get into it. Uh, I do think that we're going to struggle against uh probably more of the efficient you know style decks but i think we're actually gonna be better against like murktide and stuff like that because specifically liliana the veil in the main deck is pretty nice i'm not sure if kalidus is ever gonna be like oh yeah let's keep kalidus in uh i really can't think of much other than like maybe like dredge or something but you know we'll see where this card comes in maybe burn i don't know uh, I'm definitely also curious to see, you know, how much we miss uh, Urza Saga because the card is absolutely insane. But looking at the sideboard, we've got some good stuff, right? Leyline the Void, pretty reasonable. Thrun the Last Roll. <laughs> Engineered Explosive times two, which is pretty good. Damping Sphere for Tron. Uh, another Kalidus, which again, I'm not sure what we're going to need Kalidus for. Collective Brutalities for Burn. Uh, Fulminator Mage, which is one of my favorite cards of all time. Uh, behind, honestly, my favorite card of all time, like, is probably Maelstrom Pulse or um, what's it called? The Fast Bond. Those are like two of my favorite cards. They're just, I think they're just so cool. Uh, and then Kitchen Sinks, again, probably for Burn, definitely, maybe for Bear Midrange deck, and then Verasco Gavara Queen, and it's the cool one, so I'm excited to get into it. I'm curious what you all think about this deck, and if you think this will actually do well, but uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the first match, but make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know down below if you ever played anything like this, and if you want to see more old school stuff, uh, but anyways, let's get into the first match. All right, we're getting in the first match here. Actually a pretty good hand. Our opponent's on a mold of six. So definitely good news for us. Let me open up my Spotify, you know? Gotta get that music going. Gotta vibe a little bit while we're playing. Ooh. This is gonna be spooky. Oh. Hopefully this is Prowess, because I feel like Prowess is going to be a fairly reasonable matchup. Although, you know, Dark Confidant will not be great. Um, but everything else should probably be okay. And we have a bunch of removal spells, so I'm feeling a-okay. What are we doing here? Blue and red. Right, Dragon, maybe? All right. Uh, I guess I'm gonna push the Sprite Dragon. Might as well, right? I think it's just a better target overall. Only take one, it's pretty okay. Uh, I'm going to fetch now, and it's gonna be a basic swamp here. But the reason to fetch now is like, they might have light up the stage or something, so like fetching later is not gonna be good. Well, maybe not good, but it'll turn it on, you know? So just like playing around certain things that we can play around is important. Okay. All right, abrupt to get that shit. The only okay about this game if we can stick this Liliana and play next turn and like wipe up the board, it'd be very nice. Oh my god, you have like just a million creatures. <sighs> that is annoying. Um, 
I think I still just need to slam this Lily, because then next turn I can double spell Trophy plus Confidant. So, alright, let's see. Let's see what's going on. EI, EI, oh. God, how many creatures do they got? Bro. I got a lot of creatures. I'm a little bit concerned that we're just gonna lose this game. Okay, that was a good draw. Kinda just wanna like, kill both creatures and then... All right, I think this is fine. I mean, I swear to God, if you have more creatures, I'm actually gonna be sad. So next turn we can go double confidant and then... But the problem is if they just have one Lava Dart, it just kills both of them, and that's not great. How many creatures, bro? Oh my god. That is actually kind of ridiculous. Alright, well, I mean... Dark Confidant. Dark Confidant. Ugh. Don't Lava Dart me, please. Oh my god. Yep. Yep! This is what I was concerned about. Alright, oh, well, maybe we can draw a land next turn? A fetch land? That'd be cool. So they just drew, like, literally so many creatures, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, I think I switched up my camera a little bit, or my lighting. It was, like, kind of looking a little strange. Just so you guys can see my beautiful face. Bolt me. Let's see. The water put hills in the backyard. Why are we bolting me now? Is there a reason? Okay. All right, well, I will inquisition you. I think I am supposed to play out the tracker. I know it kind of sucks, but it's one of those things where it's it's better to play it out, but it does feel kind of shitty if they just like draw a removal spell, we don't get any value, but like the mana investment is not irrelevant, right? It's something that you do have to be cognizant of. And a holy heat EI, holy crap, we're so dead. Maybe if we can find a removal spell for their 15th creature, we should be okay. But we need probably a fetch land. Okay, I, I am conceding we are not winning this game. That's just unfortunate. Like we, our hand I think was fine, but they just had a bunch of, they just had a bunch of shit. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, I guess I'm bringing Leyline in as our, as our best way of dealing with their yard, because they are a, whatchamacallit deck, a, through the, our Underworld Breach deck, so I do want to be somewhat aware of that. Definitely want all the removal. Probably Lily is just a little slow here. Like, it, she doesn't, like, tick up and just win the game. I don't think Kalidus is where we want to be, so. Mm, our starting hand just can't keep that one lander. All right, the sand's much better. The fetch land back. Take the channeler, I guess. <sighs> I mean, the best way to deal with a deck like this is to literally just take all of their threats and remove all of them from play, but it's very difficult to do because obviously they have a lot of threats and they are a deck that just draws a million cards. So like, uh, that's actually a pretty good draw. We'll play that over killing a creature. It's kind of awkward. Maybe that was wrong. Oh, interesting. 
Surprised they didn't attack first here. They can probably not keep anything on top that unless it's like a land. Okay, a creature hits the bin. Another bobble. Yeah, okay. Well, we're not gonna bone their land situation here. <laughs> Another creature hits the yard. Yeah, we're not blocking, that's for sure. Yep, we'll take three. That's so awkwardly good. I don't think I can cast it though. Sigo. I would love to cast it for one, but just not being able to remove a creature this turn seems a little bit ambitious. I don't know what I really want to do here. Might as well just crack both bobbles. I don't see a reason why to keep both around. All right, well, they found a land. That fucking sucks for us. They are fetching, though. Let's see. Maybe we can win this game. Opium. There's no way you're EIing here, right? I have Bolt, Light Up, Expressive. We basically need this Tarmogoyf to fucking carry us. Mutagenic, sure. I mean, I'm a hundred percent blocking the soul scar, probably. So this makes the goyth a five six. The soul scar is a four five. And I'm blocking your soul scar. Uh, this is annoying. Uh, sure. I don't even know what to do at this point. I think I have to trophy this turn. Like, I know it just like fucking sucks to give them an extra mana, but like, I genuinely don't think that I can. Like, Abrupt Decay, I guess, is kind of like the same thing, but I think giving them mana this turn is not that relevant. I could be wrong. I don't know. This just seems like a really hard matchup to win, knock on. Especially with the way this deck's configured, it's like, I don't know, there's just way too many problems. I kind of need them to like develop here into another one drop to have a chance. And even that, their hand's still what? EI, oh my god, they have another EI in the exile. Yeah, I mean, I just don't think we can win this game. Uh, yeah, I'm... I just like don't even know what to do. Alright, E, I guess. Hope. Oh. So I'm supposed to play a second one out, probably. Right? Like, I don't think there's a reason to not just play both of them. Like, it sucks to, you know, show them that, but like, I kind of think there's. I mean, our hand's like pretty bad at this point, right? Put a. Oh, I thought they put a light up the stage in the yard. I'm like, god damn, their hand must be so good. Watch them just like EE for zero, blow up both of my E's. That'd be so unfortunate. It really won't be that big of a deal, but it'd be annoying. Wait. No, they didn't play their round. All right. I just like, at this point, I don't know how we win. That's my issue. Like. Okay, like, go ahead, but how do I win from here? I don't know. Like, legit, I am confused. The problem is, like, we don't have a threat that does anything, and they just have way too many ways to remove my card advantage in Dark Confidant. All right, let's just yield to blockers here. See what they do. Unholy heat, hitting the bin, great. Oh my god, it hit another expressive iteration. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Their two for one finds a two for one. Ah! All right, it's popping E. 
Yield through the turn, F6 it up. Blue, red. They're EIing again. More EIs, more EIs, more EIs, yay! Maybe we can run them out of threats. I, I find that very unlikely, but it could happen. There, There's a world it could happen, but very, very, very unlikely. Okay, so I think they, I think they, they didn't even use the EI in their hand. So their hand's still expressive iteration mystery card. Expressive iteration, lightning bolt, and four other cards. Yes, I said that. Four other cards. They have more lands, more cards, more life. Like, it's not that I don't want to not concede. I definitely want to concede, but I feel obligated to finish this game out and just make 100% sure that we're effed. I'm pretty certain there's a 0% chance we win this game, but maybe we can get like a few two-for-ones here or there. How much burn is in your hand? A field of rin. All right. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm popping a land of yours. And then popping the... I think I'm actually abrupt decaying this. I feel like it's just better. I don't know, maybe they'll just kill me in response here. See what they do. Nothing? Cool. Yeah, I think I need to abrupt decay. Two red. Bolt me. Let's yield till here. All right, there's one bolt. Tart confidant, make me live, please. What are they doing with this other mana? They put a bobble in the yard. Maybe I am supposed to pop this because of something like Underworld Breach. I don't know how the fuck we beat an Underworld Breach, but let's just do this. Not being an underworld breach, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm even worried about it. No creature. Hold. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I I guess I'm supposed to play out both dark confidants. I don't know. This like, it's like the worst of a bad. It's like it's it's a bad situation, right? But like, it's even worse. <laughs> Lava dart, fucking great. All right, yep, 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 yep. Them darting on our turn tells me they must not have a prowess creature. Cause I feel like you'd wait. Yeah, they should probably wait regardless, right? All righty, <laughs> another dark confidant. Fantastic. Let's get there, buddy. They have six cards in hand, by the way. Six cards. Guessing, oh, Dark Offront's living? Hold up. What the hell is in your hand, opponent? I'm actually so lost. Oh my God, we're untapping with Dark Confidant? Please, please, another Dark Confidant. Uh, dark Confidant. Uh, don't kill me, Bob, please. Please don't kill me, Bob. No. No. Yeah. All right. We're dead, right? There's no way. They don't have another bolt. Yeah. All right. GG's opponent. I'll see you guys in match number two. We're up against another Gigantha deck, which is like... Gigantha's like the new Luris, bro. Like everyone's running this card, but let's see. Let's see if my turn one treetop village tapped can do anything. <laughs> I'm probably not doing that, but all right. Uh, sure. Guess I'm fatal pushing that. I guess this has got to be a decent matchup. Like, please tell me that we're actually good here. 
I mean, our deck's literally just built to remove everything, so, like, please, thank you, please and thank you. Oh, oh, are we, are we flavored in a matchup? No way. Oh my god, Summoner's Pact? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm taking that. This is like the all-in combo variant, so I guess this is like probably our best matchup that we could ask for. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get a swamp here. Actually, I should get a tomb. We need to kill them. All right. All right, let's see. They have to get Delirium here, or else their DRC is just dead. And it's weird to say this, but this just dies on state-based effects on their upkeep. Because this is until my next turn. Please just, like, say go. Oh my god, they didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know. Let's go. They didn't know. Keck, yep. Look at us. Getting the... Getting the new cards. Let's get it. Our, our old cards. <laughs> Read the card, yeah. RTFC. Alright. Uh, Inquisition. Um... Yes, let's take this. I don't think it really matters. Uh, we'll just win with, like, Tarmogoyf here, right? Actually, I probably should have kept Trophy, but whatever. Liliana Tribal. Let's go! Let's go, Liliana Tribal! I mean, this has definitely got to be probably best possible matchup. I'm trying to think of, like, another deck in this format that we are even closely as favored against. Oh my god, wait a moment. I have not done this in years. I need to I need to get a screenshot of this. Hold up. Let me hold control too. I need to get a I need to get a screenshot of this. Because oh my god, this feels great. Actually hold up new. Let's just do this. Alright. I just I, I just had to do a picture of that. I have this board state just makes me so happy. <laughs> like, I don't really care if I win. It's just, I'm, I'm winning regardless. I'm winning regardless. That's all that matters. I'm winning in spirit. If my opponent kills me, I don't care. Like, it's going to be kind of annoying to play against, like, better decks, but, you know, whatever. It's okay. And, wait, do I get a Liliana ultimate? Please, please give me, please give me a Liliana the Last Hope ultimate. Uh, well, let's just attack. I, I want to get my Liliana ultimate. I'm going to save this picture too while I'm attacking. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Please, please, please. Oh my god. I need to take a picture of this too. Just like all of this. All of this going on is just like happiness. Let's go. All right. Uh, sure. Okay. This is just pure happiness at its finest. Guess I should pop this. Maybe I draw something that's like a uh, fatal push. Eh, that's actually not bad. All right. Go ahead. Ah, oh, zombies! They're coming. Zombies, 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 zombies. All right, uh, brutality, I guess. E e. Um, I guess Veraska. What's bad here? Scavenging news. Tireless tracker. Uh, Kalidas. All right, so I guess what we got to figure out from here is what's the best. The rest of the stuff's pretty good, right? Either removal spells or a quick threat. I think Tireless Track is probably the best of all of these, though. 
maybe Fulminator Mage could be reasonable just interacting with their lands. But I don't know. This has just got to be... I don't know. Any, any deck that's ever ran Infect in its life is just has a bad matchup against us. It's kind of what life is. Now, they do probably play some Veil Summers here, so we got to be careful. Um, yeah. Definitely keeping it while I'm eating my green bean. Mm, I love green beans. If you're watching right now and you like green beans, hit that comment. Be like, oh, green beans are the best. Because they are. Alright, I got a fatal push. I've got a fatal push for you, my friend. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that poison, baby. Man, I'm like staring at like I got like a bowl of green beans and I want them so bad right now. But I'm just, I'm, I'm making this video for you guys. Uh. Mm. I just, <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I got a little too much of that salt in my, whew, down my throat. Holy. Oh my god, I almost died. Almost died eating that freaking green bean. Alright. Um, Blood Moon? I don't really know what's going on, but <clears throat> here we are. Also, it looks like we have a, a really good hand. You know, we got like three different planeswalkers, two of them are the same, but no, it's three fucking Lilianas. Alright. Are we dead? Kill me. Kill me, opponent. I would prefer if you didn't go for it this turn and went for it next turn. Please, please just wait, you know. Please just wait. Smile. <laughs> Smile. Oh, God, they're going for it. <laughs> All right, Rot Priest. Sure. Okay, well, I kind of got to do this now. Doesn't get better. It does not get better. Alright. Hope. Hopium. 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 Hope. Oh my god, my headset's about to die. I'm watching Mr. Boating goes live. Okay. Traversing for a forest? Uh, all right, I mean, if you have, if you have the thing that storms off here, I die. I was dead anyways, right? Yeah. All right, GG's. Well played, well played. I let them do their thing, they let us do the, our thing. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, damping sphere? Uh, I didn't even think about that, but that seems like a good one. All right, let's see if we can take this match down. Opponent got to do their thing. We have to do our thing. That's pretty good. Really all removal spells, so. See if they got like a, oh my God. I hate when that happens. Ugh! That's so annoying. Oh my God. Yeah. Whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I guess it's really not that big of a deal. I would have taken the Rot Priest, but... It's not the biggest deal in the world. Kind of annoying. Whatever. Guess I'm gonna duress them. And I wouldn't be that opposed to taking the the ground rift here. Spell skite. Alright. Take the ground rift. 
That's the scary card, I think. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Next turn, we can Lily, Edict, whatever they play, Rot Priest. And Liliana, down tick. I mean, Liliana's got to be like the best card against them, too, right? Doesn't target anything. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, Treetop. All right, playing a Spelly, probably. Probably Spell Skite here. Are we metamorphosing? Yep. All right, let's kill the spell skite here. Should be pretty good for us. Then play any threat. That's a good one. Maybe a removal spell? Well, no, actually, I wouldn't want a removal spell. Give me like a discard spell. That'd be perfect. Discard spell or land would be good. <laughs> I mean, the abrupt decay is fine, right? Actually, I should probably keep it. I'm probably just winning this game. If I just hold up a removal spell. And our opponent's like being completely honest. Like, these are horrible matchups for fair decks like themselves. I need Gigantha into hand. All right. Pretty happy as long as I have a removal spell in hand to not lose this game. All right. We're getting rid of a push. Courage Gigantha. So they have Spell Skite and two mystery cards. Dark Confidant. Two damage at a time. Let's go. Underworld Breach. Uh. Oh my god, you milled a bobble? You sicko. Oh, good thing we have the Abrupt Decay, right? <laughs> good thing. That Resolve. Alright, Abrupt Decay, the Underworld Breach. We can Liliana Edict, or even Tick Up. It's kind of really up to our discretion. I'll let you just Edict, though. Unless we draw, like, a, I don't know, removal spell or something like that. Okay. They have three cards in hand, which is annoying. Another Dark Confidant. Let's go. Ooh. All right, yeah, let's just do that. Tick Up, discard Confidant. I guess I'm fine with DRC hitting my Lily. I don't really care. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I should have just edicted here. All right, so there you go. If they attack Lily, I don't think I care. Their hand is Spell Skite and a Mystery Card. Okay, so one card in hand, what could it be? If it's another breach, things could get awkward. Well, spell skite's annoying because it makes me. Uh, uh, if they have an underworld breach, I have to target the spell skite anyway with the assassin's trophy. So, yes, I am forced to make this play. Pick up Lily. Um. Mm. All right. Let's see you go. Mm -hmm. I just need to not get top decked on here. I feel like I played this game. God, now their our opponent's giving us the copium. Oh, they're blocking. What a stud. Now they're getting mad at us. It's like, whatever. Our deck does the stuff for a reason, right? What are we doing here? Got shot, my Lily. All right. 
So I should just edict them. Get it over with. So we're worried about breach, and that's literally the only thing that matters. And I don't know how I'm supposed to beat that at this point, so. Hmm. Shuffling. Assume they don't have any more basics left. Early on the last hope. Fatal push. Right. I like literally can't do anything against a breach anyways, so I'm just gonna go for lethal here next turn. Like there's nothing I can do against it, so Okay. Like actually nothing because they have a Tamio's safekeeping. So <sighs> it just gives it protection anyway, so let's hope they don't draw a breach. I feel like I could have played this game a lot better and I just didn't. Oh, let's see what this is. Got shot, my Lily. Okay. And that should be the game. All right, we took we took a game down. We took a game down. If our opponent would let us do it, I don't know. If our opponent doesn't let us do it for a while and just like salt ropes us, then I'm just gonna move on. But I mean, they're just dead here. So let's get on to the third match. Okay, we have another, I'm gonna say it's a, it's a keeper. It's definitely a little bit of a sus hand, but um, definitely a keep. Being on like the draw, like, I don't know, we kind of need to keep stuff that allows us to answer early threats and move on with our life, but, oh God, this might be mill. This is mill, we're just like actually just toast. <laughs> I I almost like, we could just move on. Don't know what this means. <clears throat> what deck are you on? Hmm. <clears throat> I really don't know. I would assume Mill, but I'm not actually even sure about that at this point. I think Mill. I don't know. Yeah, it's Mill. Alright. That's fine. Okay. Oh, well, let's just fetch now. Forever hold our peace. I think we are dead. <laughs> I don't know how we win. Archive. You what? You didn't have an archive trap last turn. You did this turn, or you you didn't play it on your instep. Ah, whatever. <clears throat> I, I think we're actually 0% to win this game. Um, I don't know what we can even do post-board. I will play it out, but I don't feel confident. I mean, let's go draw to Hopium. All right, I mean, I, I literally have nothing else to do other than pump this thing and hope it works. Yep. All right, they got us. <laughs> they they got us. All right, uh, Thrun, I guess you can come in. Brutality, you can come in. <sighs> I mean, Cletus is pretty bad. The way the last hope's pretty bad. Trophy, I guess, and just kind of hope. Don't know how we win. All right, I guess this might be able to win. Has a discard spell into a a creature. I'm not fetching here. So it's like kind of playable. All right. Uh, Wait, their hand was kind of dog shit. Hold up. Hold up, their hand was horrible. Their their hands actually kind of horrible, like literally not even doing anything. So we're we're winning, maybe. No, how do you freaking draw that, man? Yeah, that's only three life. It's just one or three life removal spell. Liliana. Uh, that's not a three drop. Is this a three drop? I guess. 
All right, see you go. Opium. Come on, baby. All right, it's like still not that much life. Oh God, that's a lot of life. That is three, six, nine, 12 life. Okay, give me a removal spell for this crab. No, no. All right, uh, draw into discard spell or removal spell. It's kind of like, it's kind of like our only out, I think. Cause I don't think we can actually, oh my God, so many lands. So many lands. I mean, oh, they didn't block. Wow. All right, take that. We take those. Okay, still only 12, wait, one, two, three, four, it's only 12 life. That's actually not even that bad. Like, it's not great, but like, it's not like actually just game over. Fatal push, okay. Discard spell, That's, it is what it is. All right, I mean, let's go. Oh, it's Crypt Incursion, sure. 31. Somewhat beatable, probably. I mean, probably not, like, super likely, but... Maybe? You no, know, they have an Ottawara. Some other stuff. God. Play a Glyph. Play a Glyph. Ottawara, sure. Play a golf. Do we have lethal next turn? It's three. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, we're one off of lethal. Oh, that's actually really annoying. One point off. Lethal. Oh, what the fuck? Why did it just like take me to combat? Okay, whatever. Billy. Tick up. Billy, tick up. Uh, let's not show them Thrun. All right. Hope. If they hit, like, half their spells in their deck, we die. Hold. Yes! We beat them. Oh, my God. Wow. They drew, like, kind of gas off the top, and we just, like, drew, like, dog shit, but... All right, F6. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, I think this hand's fine. They kept seven, which is definitely scary, but I think I got to keep this hand. Oh, God. They drew a crab. Crab's too good. Oh, my God. We drew another fucking tree top village. Yeah. I feel like we're dying already. I feel like we're already dead. Oh, no. Hey, wait a moment. We're not like just dead. My hands kind of poopy. I mean, they definitely can still win this game, but we draw an untapped land. Maybe we can win this game. Okay. Untap land for the win? Question mark. Oh, that's that counts. Uh, I'm gonna do all modes. Let's do treetop and treetop. I don't really care. They don't really help me at this point. Crypt incursion. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I guess I gotta take the crypt incursion. Sadly, gotta take the crypt incursion. If I draw an untapped land this turn, that produces black. 
does mean that I can resolve a lily and maybe just beat them. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. No lands. Swamp. No way. Oh my god. Uh, we're so fudged. Okay, land does nothing. <laughs> god. Should have kept my freaking things. I just didn't think they'd help me. Guess I was wrong. Uh, ooh, land. Oh. Oh my god, we don't have any vegetables! Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. That's actually so shitty. I just assumed there'd be one. Oh my god. Wow. What absolute horse poop. <laughs> I'm, d I'm, <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm so upset that, like, we just didn't have any vegetables left. Fractured sanity. Well, the fact that they didn't just like cast that terrifies me. Uh, all right, I'll give it one more turn. And even then, like, I'm just like very convinced we're just dead here. There's like no way we're winning this game. Okay, please hit my field of ruin. That would actually help me. Fantastic. Fantastic. They have four cards in hand. Bro, if we were to just draw on the land at some point, I feel like we would have won this game. But here we are. I think we have a forest in the deck. I believe we do. No, we do not. Okay, I'm done. Let's get out of here. Next game! <laughs> okay, next game. Pretty decent hand. Our next match. Oh my god, turn one mutable? This fish? Oh baby, we're up against the fish. Actually kind of a cool... It's gonna be a little bit of a throwback match. A little bit of a throwback. Definitely gonna turn one Thoughtseize and hope that's good enough. Our opponent will let us cast it. Okay, Scooze is questionably fine. All right, so that resolved. Ugh. I think I gotta take a lord here. These tied shapers are gonna be really annoying, but it's okay. It'll be okay. We can remove one. And then like we can just play like a fetch land, see if they buy one in. Which would kind of make a little bit of sense. Right? Like I think you kinda just need to play out the board. Maybe they don't. Who knows? They kick it by Blooming Marsh. We play Fetchland. I think they do have to. I might be wrong, but I feel like they will just end up filing it in. What is their hand at this point? So Island. Okay, so another Tide Reshaper and or Tide Shaper, not Tide Reshaper. What do we draw? Our opponent is playing super slow with like whatever. Okay, another push. That's actually really good. Uh, I am gonna fetch and shock. So I know our life total is relevant, but so is having multiple green or uh, for scavenging news, which I actually think is gonna be a very important spell in this matchup. Just makes it very large and in charge. Okay. Files on two. I'm de I'm a hundred percent fetch shocking here and pushing it now, because then if they want to, oh, they're giving us the option to kill the mutable. If they activate Aether Vial, if they will I'll fetch in response. I'm gonna fetch. I'm not gonna take all this damage anyway, but 
and fetch. Okay. Fatally push here. And I would definitely push this as well. Maybe I'm supposed to save my removal though for the key threats. We know they have a dismember. Let's think about this. They have dismember. That means that they can. So push resolves here. Hmm. Voice well, only a four or five. Pain costs. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I don't really think I can do much about it. Uh, whatever, let's push this. I kind of think our life total is more of a relevant thing than I'm giving it props. It also kind of like makes their mana situation a little bit awkward here. And I think I play Tarmogoyf. Unless I find... If I find land, I might play Tracker. Yeah, I probably will, because that means if I draw another land, then I get the double spell with Goyf plus Ooze, so. I think that is the correct line if we do draw land. Never mind. Other land. Uh, yeah, yeah. No! That's not the one I wanted to cast. Fuck. Whatever. Uh, I actually kind of prefer this over Tarmogoyf, but I guess that means if they're eating my scavenging news. It's actually not the worst thing in the world, but I definitely think I preferred my Tarmogoyf being on the battlefield here. Because I think in the late game, Scavenger is just going to be strictly better. I guess, you know what I just noticed? Our opponent's name is Fighting Fish. The most, like, on-flavor name I've ever seen in my life. They are a fish, and they are fighting. But they are the Fighting Fish. Let's see. Another Mutavolt. Oh, we're not dismembering. Makes me kind of happy. Probably gonna bop my treetop. No, taking out the tomb. Interesting. One would imagine that you'd want to take the, the the creature land, but I guess that kind of makes sense to take out the black source as well. I am sending in with Scoos, I think. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, let's just play Tarmogoyf and say go. Actually, I probably should have attacked the scavenger news. No, I'm not the ag aggressor here. There's no world I'm the aggressor, so just continue on. So we know they have Dismember and two mystery cards. Why is there Aether Vial on three? Is this a Spaloon? Ooh, Spaloon's gonna be really annoying. Yeah. That's gonna be a problem. That is a problem. Another land. That's also a problem. Even more of an issue that they can just give Svalun indestructible as well at a moment's notice. I kind of think that we're just going to be too far behind in this game. If they didn't have the Svalun, I'd feel kind of far ahead, but the fact that they just like ripped Svalun is kind of embarrassing for us. Uh, maybe they just won't have that many creatures. Maybe that's a way we can get around this, but... This member, sure. All right, I mean, nothing I can really do about this. Yep. So you the end step. All right, ooze. Almost ate the wrong thing. All right. Oh. Oh. Fatal push. It's actually not horrible. I'll push this now. This resolves. Actually, we're like kind of in an okay spot now. Maybe Scoos can stabilize the board. <sighs> Maybe I should have waited to do that. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Okay. Not a creature.
They could have the instant speed Lord, and I'm going to let that get us, because if they have it, they have it, and I'm not winning anyways, so... I'm 100% blocking. Like, I, I can't beat that anyways, so I'm not worried about it. Like, just... Uh, there are some times where you just got to understand that you're not beating a certain card, and this is one of those scenarios where I'm just not beating that card, so... All right. Do you have it? All right. Well, let's eat my Tarmogoyf. F6. If you got it, you got it. Damage. Go to damage, please. We go to damage, I'm winning. Holy shit, we went to damage. Oh my god. I actually think we're going to win this game. Holy crap. Holy crap, I did not expect this at all. What is their hand? Uh, I think it is a, what's that four drop called, subtlety? I'm like almost 100% sure they have a subtlety in hand, so let's just attack and say go. I actually think I could, I could have eaten one thing here if I wanted to. I'm like, 88, 80, I'm gonna say 87.5% sure they have a subtlety here. I don't, know if I don't know why this is going like that. God, man, they've gone through so much time. Whatever. Merfolk. 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 Ow, I just hurt my leg or hurt my arm. Okay, draw your little card. Immutavolt. One, two. Right, Shaper, sure. All right, let's eat this failure. So, ah, whatever, let's just eat everything. Oh my god, opponent, please. For the love of God and all that's holy. We have a 7-7 seven, seven that is ready to rumble in the jungle. The two turn clock. They're nice things. Uh, so if I go Liliana down tick, let's say we draw a black source here. Is that worth it? Or do I just go Kalidus? I kind of think I just go Kalidus. I think I go after the fact. No, I think I go before I attack. What are opponents doing here? Oh my god. Combat. Back you for seven. I think this is all I'm doing. For the rest of the game. We chump blocking? I don't know. I don't know. No chump block. Interesting. All right, let's yield two attackers because I might want to animate treetop. I might not. I don't know. Probably will animate treetop, block something, eat something if they give me the option. No. Any attacks? I went to attacks pretty darn fast. Hmm? All right, treetop village. Let's get physical. Oh. Uh, all right, I am 100% trophying that, uh, yeah. Trophy. Could have trophy the Tide Shaper, but I don't think that's really necessary. <laughs> Do you have a counter spell? Subtlety does not counter this. Oh, they have a force negation. Okay. All right. Well, it's kind of annoying. Take seven. Uh. 
Corrupt decay, perfection. Perfection. So they do have the chump block with something. I mean, it's the mutable here. And then we just kill the master. I'm gonna kill it now. And then eat something, gain another life. All right. Just do this now, kill this. No, I can't eat it though. Forgot. Never mind. Another F6. I'm not looking. I'm not watching. Kill me. I'm gonna go get some some food in the other room, probably. Cause these green beans are amazing. I don't know. Maybe not. Hold. 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 This is only game one. God. I've used. Two minutes on my clock, they've used 14. Oh my god. The immense amount of pain that I am in. It's unfathomable. Fa unfathomable. Did you draw another lord, you sicko? Oh my god. Okay. I guess I can't beat the third lord off the top, right? Land. Actually, that's pretty good. Probably best possible. Oh my god. Attack. Sure. Block. Alright, Goyf can block a Tide Shaper, or any of them, and I can gain, I can go up to six. They do not have lethal in any possible way, as of, or, as of right now. Alright, I am just going to eat this Pearl Trident now, play my Tarmogoyf, and F6, go into the kitchen, hope we come back, come back out victorious. All right, here goes to getting food and hoping that we come back winners. F6, let's go! All right, I come back. We've not won yet. They have another fucking mutable. But they don't have any attacks, so that's the good news. Oh? Our opponent is sending it in. Why are we attacking? I'm actually confused. To me, this does not make sense. Mm. So they have to double chump. I guess they don't. They only have to single chump. Do so I go attacks? They have to chump. How do I lose? I don't think I can. Again, I don't think I can lose. If I play Confidant, I don't have any four drops in my deck. If they attack, I get to block with it. And then next turn we can send in with everything and win. I don't know what they're, like, what, is, what are they accomplishing? What are they attempting to accomplish here? I think if they attacked last turn, they should have attacked with the Hex Catcher, because then us being at two is actually... I feel like there's a world you can win. Okay. But I feel like at this life total, there is no world you win. All right, Bob just is another attacker next turn. is actually kind of relevant, so. And our opponent is at seven minutes on clock, which is like pretty fucking low. For game one, like holy. Okay. No attacks. We eat your creature. We untap. Do we win the game? Alright, they conceded. Holy shit, man. 
All right, E E N brutalities in Raska in Cletus. I think is fine. Uh, what's bad here? Last hope. Um, trackers can probably go. Thoughtsies can go, especially on the draw. They'll land. They'll land. Actually, let's not bring in this Frasco. Let's keep this land in. Oh my god, that game was just like absurdly long. They, our opponent just took way too long on their clock, and like that's just like very. I will say one thing about Magic Arena that's nice is the rope. Because on Magic Online, it gets like very frustrating when your opponent plays super duper slow and like. They're on, there's, they, there is zero chance, like, if this is how they're gonna play, there is zero chance they can ever win this game, too. Like, not, like, their skill level, they just are not winning game two if they play the same speed. Alright, I'm gonna keep this. Maybe they're just about to start zooming, and I would not be sad about that. Nothing. Oi. I mean, I either have a removal spell on two or uh, something to deploy to the board. Maybe I do want to lay on to the last hope. Yeah, that was a mistake. Riding seas. That's actually kind of annoying. Somewhat annoying. All right. Get our Tarma Whip down. They cast a Sveiloon. Okay, it looks like they're playing a little, look like a little bit of uh, urgency this game. I'm actually pretty happy about that. The Tide Shaper. All right. You know, I have any green sources, which is kind of an issue. Actually, definitely an issue, but that land would be nice. Or Fatal Push. Kalidus? Mind. Don't mind that one. I don't have another one. Oh, God. May I interest you in an island? Um, sure, I guess. Wow. Oh. Okay, they're actually playing this game. So, a fatal push would help. Urborg? Wait a moment, that's actually, like, perfect. Kalidus. Alright, Kalidus. Save us. SOS. SOS on Kalidus. Alright, it looks like they're actually playing, like, somewhat quickly, which is still kind of, it's, like, annoying because this, the first two games just took so long. They're already in the red zone. Oh my god. They're in the red. Um, I think I'm just dead. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, whatever. That game took like, oh, oh wait, I wouldn't have had enough. I was like, that actually would have won us the game, but I actually didn't, it wouldn't, because I didn't have a green source. All right. Deep. That last game, I'm not going to leave it on my Blooming Marsh. Vile. Mm -hmm. All my homies hate hate their vile. Trust me. Cards and win. What if they're just gonna run out the tide shaper next turn? Let's intrigue them with it by playing me Ooh. Ooh. That's a piece of candy. Play that one out. Kick it on my little blooming marsh. I don't care. Watch me give a shit. Yeah, 
I'll Liliana that one. Maelstrom Pulse? No, oh, baby. Love it. And I'll say go. If they weren't trade Mutavolt for Dark Confidant, a fine trade with me. I don't really want to lose my Lily just yet. Baylin? Interesting. Interesting. Alright, discard Swamp. Put herself a basic forest. Play Ooze. Still don't want to attack with this Confidant. Because I don't want to lose my Lily and I don't want to trade with Ooze, so... Seems like a worthwhile play. Catcher, so we have Trident, Trickster. Alright. Sego! What can you do? Ready and see. Sure. Ugh. We have a trickster. A bunch of other shit that doesn't matter. Let's get rid of this blooming marsh. Doesn't do anything. <sighs> Let's just say go. Yeah, I'm fine attacking now. Well, let's see. I'm going to play my Goyf now. All right. I think we are ahead. We only have two minutes as well, which is nice. Pearl Trident. Okay. So you can kill my Lily. It's pretty okay. This I knew about that, so this was kind of like a boneheaded play, probably. Also seems like a really stupid attack. I guess it's one of those, like, they're so far behind type situations where they feel like they need to make that attack. Which I guess kind of makes some sense, right? Okay. We'll block with my confidant. If you give me the opportunity. Dark confidant. Good now, good back then. Alright, I think you are dead. I don't think you have an out here. Fatal push. We draw a green source, they're actually just dead. I'm in, I'm in untapped. God damn it. Yeah. Whatever. You got a subtlety, you got a subtlety. I don't care. Sure, I'll let you trade with whatever you want to trade with. I don't care. Knock your heart out. You, like, literally could never win. And I am, like, so far ahead, but they just could never win here. All right, whatever. I don't care enough. Kill that. You're dead. That was that. Oh, my God. This is frustrating as hell. Look at how much time they have left. They have 20 seconds left. To my 19 minutes. Oh my god. Alright. See you guys in the fifth and final match. Alright, I'm gonna keep this. It's a little bit of a wary one, but they're on six. I'm interested. Our confidant. Just live, please, buddy. All I ask. Or, and for us to draw land. We do play a lot, so... 24 and a non-saga variant is kind of a lot, so that's why I kind of enjoy... And a little bit on the, on the edge here. The fairy, Risen Reef, Risen Reef, Risen Reef, Risen Reef, and Risen Reef. Alright, I'll take the Teferi. Because <laughs> if I play my Confidant, I don't really want that getting bounced. They have Voice Sifter. I guess this is just, uh... This is Glimpse. Not sure how he beat Glimpse, but... Will Vibe. Will Vibe and figure out. We'll fuck around and find out. We'll fuck around and find out. Why not? 
Way Sifter. And we need to land here. We had two looks at it. It's probably a little bit over 50% chance. Probably around like 60, 70% chance we find a land. So definitely feeling okay about it. God, oh, our butthole was clenched. We got there. We got there. Let's go, Bobby. All right, now, now we need a little bit of extra love. Now we need another land. And, uh oh, I was gonna say, and for them to not have a land, that'd been nice. Uh oh, are we spinning the wheel? Oh, uh, okay, no, 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 we're not spinning the wheel that, we're not spinning the wheel like that. Did they didn't get anything? Oh my god, dude, I'm so thirsty. So thirsty. Another Bob. Oh. Not like this. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Alright, well. Didn't find a land. We suck. They have a 1-1, one -one, which... Draws a card. We have two two ones that draw a card. Don't fury me, please. That would be brutal. Risen Reef Fury. Ooh, doggy. Don't fury me. Don't fury me. Okay, that's fine. Don't fury me. Don't fury me. Ha, smile, don't fury me. Give me a land that I can fetch with so I can kill both of these. Oh no. Land. Land! Ah! <laughs> gotta be joking, man. God, whatever. Oh, we had so many outs. Whatever, bro. And this is just like cycling. Not great. All right, give me something to do, please, poet. So dead. Let's hold up turn off all yields. Block one. Okay, I'll push the other. Huzzah! All right, F6. Let's go. Um, discard a fatal push, sure. Yes, I should have discarded this guy. News probably. Don't have a cascader. If they have a cascader. I can see. I don't know how we beat this deck, honestly, either. I feel like I've said that about every deck, but I think it's kind of true. I'm not really sure how we beat these decks, but they are getting kind of low, so maybe we can get there. Okay, we have a violent outburst. We have a violent outburst. I think we're in trouble, and the way they're stacking the trigger seems like they have a violent outburst. No? Okay, just a shardless then? No? Uh, no, okay, yeah, they definitely have a shardless. They're just floating the green. All right, we'll just make sure it hits something good and just not all lands. Like, we get insanely lucky and they just hit all lands, but... Uh, yep, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good enough. All right, I guess Stamping Sphere is fine. I guess Golgari Queen and, like, Brutality is fine. Ooze is pretty shit. Tracker, you can probably go, and here's hoping. Yeah, they didn't even sideboard. Sounds about right. Oh. Uh, I guess, bro. Putting back this trophy. 
Lay on the last hope is actually pretty good against them, surprisingly. Surprisingly fine against them. Fine. I was like gonna say fun, but it's fine. So I was like fine. 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 Well I need Cheshire. Nah nah. Well I need My my very limited Mandarin knowledge from middle school is I can say like a few things here and there. Like uh E er sun shu wu li ti ba something something something. Like counting to like I don't know whatever that is, eight. I'm closing my eyes. Don't kill my dark confidant this time. He did nothing wrong. He is happy and he will sing you a song. I don't know what to do. Um, okay, I guess we just failed to cast our Waysifter. Sure. Feeling a okay actually, because now I can kill, can kill the Risen Reef with the Lily Tick. Lily Tick up, and I can Fatal Push the Omnath. Maybe I should have taken. Eh, whatever. I'm not worried about it. I gotta pee bad though. Oh, I gotta pee so bad. But let me just win this game real quick, because we're so good at it. Because we're so good. Fuck! Wait, why did we not cast our Risen Reef first? You freaking idiot! Ugh, I just spilt a little bit of water on my face. Why did we not cast Risen Reef first? I'm actually confused, I'm hurt. Oh, they fetched the wrong land, I see now. <sighs> okay, see, we take those. I didn't just notice this, but my Let's go! We take those! <laughs> We take those. Actually, I think Fulminator Mage is probably good here. Letus is bad. Brass could get us get the hell out of here. Oh my god, I gotta go. I'm gonna go pee. Whatever. I I'm not peeing until we win or lose. Cause I'm just like I gotta know. Uh, sure. Copium. Sand's fine. Haha, <laughs> smile. Champion Sphere, kind of. Like, maybe fine. Ooh! Alright, I can't. I can't wait. I, I'm. I got. <gasps> got a piece so bad. Alright, let them do their turn. Okay! Oh my god! That was perfect. We're chilling now. Only good plays from here on out. Only good plays. How about this? Give me an engineered explosives here. How about that? Wait, did I bring my EEs in? Oh my god. That should have been in. Holy. People are probably like, what are you doing, freaking idiot? Freaking idiot. Bob, what are you doing with your life, man? Champion Sphere. <sighs> How many basics they have? Probably like two. Maybe a little bit more. Just wondering how like realistic it would be for us to like assassin's trophy and stuff like that, but seems unlikely. To fairy, you bouncing my champion spear. Okay. Okay. Guess I'll recast him. That is a bet. 
Eh, whatever. I, I'm, I can't cast anything on their turn anyway, so let's just get a, a tap land and uh, six. Literally, I'm not allowed to cast shit on their turn. <laughs> oh, buddy. Not how that works. We cannot cast it. Oh, are we gonna get the shame land? Oh, are we gonna get the shame land after the fact? Please show me the shame land. Oh, we don't have a shame land. <laughs> At least we didn't have a shame land. If we had a shame land, I would have been so happy. It would have made me smile. Ear to ear. All right. Um, I can figure out if I wanna go confidant or abrupt decay the Teferi. Foundation Breaker, Endurance. Yeah, I guess we're taking the Violent Outburst. So what's their hand looking like? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, so they have Elishnorn, Endurance, Foundation Breaker, Solitude. Okay, I think I'm playing Dark Confidant. If they want to kill my damping sphere with their foundation breaker. I don't really care. Not sure. Let's see what they do. I do think I want to kill their Teferi here. They might just kill my Dark Confidant, honestly. Breaking some fines. Foundation has been broken. Okay, it's fine. Honestly, that's probably the best case scenario for that card. Like, no cap on a stack doesn't get much better than that. All right, back to fairy. Back you. It's all about you, girl. On your 16th birthday. Anyone know that song? If you do, you're awesome. Gonna shine tonight, cause it's all about you. <laughs> yeah, Pearl. <laughs> I don't know how it goes, but it's such a good song. Not really, but it, it is. It is, but it isn't. Oh, dude. Eggsline Elshorn. All right, so you have Endurance and a mystery card with three clue tokens on the board. I'm not feeling that bad about this game, considering how awful of a matchup I think we have. Very sure. Uh, that's fine. That means we can just go Liliana tick up her confidant. Liliana of the Veil, get your ass in here. Ooh, Liliana of the Lost Hope. Also a good one. But Liliana, discard Redundant Liliana. Oh, discard Endurance, wow. Okay. That is crazy. Yeah, honestly. I mean, they might just have the fucking thing. They might just spin the wheels and see what happens, but there's really not anything I can do about it, so... Kind of looks like that's the case. Yep. All right. Let's not die. Hope. 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 Um. Yeah. All right, guys. We we ended up going two three. <laughs> I'm not gonna play that game out. They got us. Uh. Overall, not upset with it. I think. You know what I, the thing I love about these types of leagues is while I think going into it, you know the deck's not gonna be that great. I think it does tell you a lot about how certain decks, even the rock, you can build in a different way. Like I think the thing I love about this is it tells me that we don't have to be a Saka variant, right? Because the fact that this deck, obviously it's not even close to optimized to now, 
it doesn't have it doesn't even have an urza saga and we still won two games which like to me that it just really does say a lot because you know the decks we won against were the creature matchups where you know that's kind of what our deck does there's a lot of removal spells this was a different time you know this is a very old deck uh it definitely tells me that you know if we're interested in building out and branching out there's definitely more options and there's more to find right so that's what i really like about this league uh cards that i would be cutting if you are you know serious about like possibly building it i'm gonna put them all in this little area i would i think liliana's fine ooze i'm sorry like if you want to play something that hits graveyards just play dothy dothy is just a strict upgrade um all of this just needs to like I don't know. I don't think maybe a trophy's actually not as bad as I think, but I think you could play some better removal spells here. Uh, I think this base here is fine. Maybe you don't need all these trackers. Maybe you do. Uh, obviously, the lands need to be swapped up. Treetop Village just no longer cuts it. I don't think Field of Rune. Thing is, the thing is, I, when I'm on Assassin's Trophy, I like being on four Field of Runes. That's just me personally, though, because I think I like being on four Trophy, four Field of Rune because it punishes your opponent's mana base. Uh, whereas, like, I think being, like, in between on, like, three trophy and two ruin just seems a little weird to me. I'm not hugely in love with it. So if you want to be on trophy, I don't think it's a bad option. I just think field ruin needs to be at a four of, and then you kind of have to build the mana base to be a little bit more, I'd say a little bit more forgiving. So, like, probably Urborg and Yavimaya. I don't think you can play this, like, mono green tap land. Uh, you probably need to be playing more fetches and... Just, I don't know. Just, it, I think if you're going to do that, you got to be pretty all into it. So, uh, but these are the cards I'd probably cut in replacement of something else. I think, the, again, I do think that this deck has some legs. And it definitely makes me happy to see that, you know, Lily or Urza Saga is not, is not the end-all be-all. So, if you're looking for a non-Saga variant, it is out there. You just got to really, like, I can maybe try and build it. Let me know if you want to see that. But it's out there. There's a deck for it. There's a deck that you can play. And it doesn't have to play Saga. And it can be green and black. And it can be probably perfectly fine. But without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed this old league. Again, thank you to Mori. I appreciate your patronage and the, you know, the donation to do the, the deck. Uh, but... Uh, if you want to see your own deck, you can always, you know, join the Patreon. It's down in the description below. Uh, and yeah, that's it for me. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.